What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new here, my name is Jay. And in today's video, I just want to talk and touch on real quick about some of the rumors in regards to the iPhone 13 that I came across while I was scrounging around online looking for information. Now, before we get started, if tech is something that you're into, then please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can be nice to this video. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's get right into the first piece of news that I found. And that piece of news is that the iPhone 13 is going to come in the exact same sizes as it did last year. So we can see the 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, just the same as we did last year with the 12 model. So I currently have a 12. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going towards the 13, but those are just some sizes. Pretty much it's going to be the same. Just like Apple do every few years, they kind of keep it the same. And then, you know, maybe in another year or two, they'll probably change something about it. But right now, the 13 is kind of sort of slated to just be kind of the same as, as the uh, 12. So nothing real big there, but just thought I'd let you guys know. Now, it is also rumored that the 13 is supposed to have a smaller notch on the front. Now, keep in mind, other companies have figured out ways to make their notches smaller and or just make them non-existent. Um, and not to say that when Apple do it, they do it better, but... I am tired of the notch. I do hope that when the 13 comes out, the notch is smaller because that will let me know that in the future, they probably will get rid of it. And it just goes to show that if they do do something with the notch this year, that they are listening to consumers as far as the notch go. Now, the notch has grown on me over the years, so it kind of is what it is. But I do want to see that notch go away. Now, another awesome rumor that's floating around is Apple possibly bringing back Touch ID, but putting it under the screen. Now... Once again, other companies have done this already, so it's not really something new, but I can say that I am a fan of Touch ID. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, that the 8 Plus, y'all already know, is my favorite phone to date. I've been saying this for a long time, and you know when I switched over to the 10, if you've been following me for a while, that I had a hard time transitioning into the 10 because I was so stuck on Touch ID. And I actually love Touch ID. I hope it comes back, but you know, it is what it is. Other companies have done it already, but Apple, if you bring Touch ID back, I really would appreciate that. Now, another thing I saw online that I'm really not too fond of is the fact that they were thinking about getting rid of the actual charging port. Now, it sounds good in theory, you know, hey, let's get rid of the charging port um, and just make everything wireless. But, you know, take somebody like me, for example, who likes to use their iPhone to record content. Plus, I love to plug my USB Yeti mic into my iPhone and things like that. So just imagine if I didn't have a port on my iPhone, how would I plug in my Blue Yeti? So that's already a no for me, but if they do it, I understand. That just means that I'll probably stay with the 12, and if they do it, I may switch over to a different type of device or something like that. But I'm pretty sure if they switch it out, it's going to be companies that's going to fall in line and make a lot of other devices that require you not to have the USB port or the lightning port or whatever the case, man. I'm pretty sure companies will fall right in line. So it's really probably not an issue, but just thinking about it right off the top of my head, I'm like, nah, I wouldn't want a 13 if I couldn't plug in my USB mic. So... That's a no for me. So since I don't want to bore you guys with every single, you know, rumor or whatever the case and going too far in depth, I just pretty much listed out a few other ones that I just want to, you know, just kind of say. I probably won't go in depth about them, but I just want to say them real quick. And those rumors are uh, the 120 hertz ProMotion display, um, some camera improvements. Looks like they are thinking about doing a bigger sensor on the 13. Uh, we also know that the 12 had the A14 Bionic, so I'm pretty sure they're going to do the A15. And one of the last features that I think is probably going to be my favorite feature outside of Touch ID is the always on display. Now, I really do hope they bring the always on display. I think that'll be something that will really, you know, enhance my usability <laughs> with the iPhone uh, being at nighttime where you just have the always on display and you can see your clock and stuff like that. I think that'd be a great addition to the iPhone 13. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Just know that there's a lot of information floating around about the iPhone 13, other leaks and things like that, that you can kind of find on the internet. But those were some of the things that I found, some of the things that I saw that I just wanted to share with you guys. Also, make sure you go over to Twitter. Check out my Twitter, man. Follow me there. I did post something on Twitter that came from Mac Rumors. I retweeted something that they had as far as leaks and things go on the iPhone 13. So make sure you go and check that out as well. And if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm can be nice to this video. It's been your man, Jay. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I drop any videos on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.